All right, hey there, this is Michelle Pasco Salido, and today I want to show you how to broadcast to Facebook Live from your Mac or PC or laptop computer. Um, I find that it's much easier to do this, and I saw a, another company actually doing this, and it looked very professional. They were in a studio. Um, there's a lot of different options that you can do with Facebook um, Live using this software program that I'm going to share with you in a second. So there's a lot of different options out there. I actually found the free option for you, so I hope you're super excited about that. And I'm gonna walk you through in this video how to actually set that up. You can get the link to the actual software program below this video, or if you're on our blog post, it's obviously probably gonna be above this video. You're gonna need to download that. And um, let me just go to that right now, actually. Let's see. It's called OBS. So it's the OBS project. So just download this one over here onto your computer. And once you do that, you're going to want to open it up. So whatever process you go through to download software programs, you're going to do that. And then you're going to come over here and you're actually going to open this up. And you'll see that it opens up here. So I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, turn this off of studio mode. And then just make that a little bit smaller for now because we're going to go through these settings here. So what you need to do is go to your fan page after you have downloaded that. So I'm on a different fan page because we've never done this or set this up on this fan page. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go to publishing tools. So if you cannot broadcast live for some reason on your fan page yet, um, there are other options, but the video, like to, you know, broadcast live in a group or broadcast live on your personal page. Um, I am going to show this from a fan page because we build, you know, businesses online using Facebook. So it makes sense for our business to broadcast live on our business page, our fan page. So that's where I am right now. If you don't have this option, um, it will be coming out soon. I'm sure, uh, you know, Facebook always rolls things out. Um, but you should, depending on when you're watching this video, hopefully have this by now. But when you go into your fan page and you're in it as an admin, you will see right here, publishing tools. So you're going to want to click on that. The next thing you're going to click on here is videos. And then from there, you're going to see this live button here. So you're going to want to click on that live button. So this is where you're going to want to set everything up here. Now you probably, I don't know if you're going to have all this in here or not. Um, yours is probably going to be a little bit different, but you will see that there. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go back to the OBS software and you're going to click on right here, settings. And then from there, uh, you can go through all of this. It should just be fine. You don't have to change anything, but just look at it. Make sure that um, it matches up to my screen because this is how we have actually um, set ours up. I didn't even think I had to set this up. I think a lot of this was already um, in here by default. But if you just want to double check, you can look at my screen there. But the place that we need to go to is stream. And what you're going to do is you're going to choose streaming services. And then right here, you're going to choose Facebook Live. Now you can see that this actual software program does some other streaming, but we're doing Facebook Live right here. It even does custom streaming, but all you need to do for, for Facebook Live is what I'm doing here. Then from there, um, don't worry about this. Don't worry about show all services, but you need to enter your stream key here. So you're going to grab that from right here. I have mine right here in that box that popped up on this fan page. We're going to go back and we're going to paste it here. You can even show it if you want to show it to make sure that it's right. And then you're going to click OK. Now from there, um, I had to make sure, yours may not be this way, but I had to make sure that when I clicked on output that, um, let's see, everything was, no, everything's fine here. I didn't have to change anything here. They do recommend the video rate, uh, the video bit rate to be 2,500. Um, so most likely this is the same. The only thing that I would maybe change is if you're going to actually do a recording of the live stream and you want to save it, see like mine's going to save in this path right here. You know, I would change this to an MP4 um, or a MOV. So basically it would save as whatever the name of your live stream is dot um, MP4 or dot MOV because it's very hard to actually edit, at least on my computer, an FLV file. So if you decide to do that, you can change those there and then click OK. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that actually. So MP4 and I'm going to click OK. Let's go back to settings and then we're going to go to audio. Now mine was not set up. So if you do a live stream and for some reason you your people cannot hear you, 
go into your audio here in this OBS software and just make sure that you've chosen your built-in microphone or if you've got a, a microphone plugged into your computer, you're gonna wanna choose that um, microphone there also. Um, this software program has a really cool capability of actually live streaming to where you can flip between the screens like if somebody else is in a different location. Again, more advanced, I'm not gonna get into that. Uh, but there, this program does do a lot of really cool advanced features. Um, so I went ahead and chose, you know, built-in microphone, and then I went over to video, and um, everything here is, you know, pretty much set. Um, I didn't have to change this. They do say to make sure this is at 30. Mine was already at that. Um, and then from there, which one thing that I didn't have is I didn't have 1280 here. Like when you come in here, 1280 by 7... Um, I think it's like 720 or something. So I just kept whatever the default was. It was fine. It showed up fine. I'll show you it in a second. You don't have to worry about hotkeys. Um, there's some advanced options here. You don't need to worry about any of that. Um, but once everything's done, you just click OK. And uh, there's my video. You can stretch it out and everything um, to make it look better. So again, you know, this is all supposed to be here by default. You can already hear that my microphone's working, by the way, because you can see the green here. But if you don't have anything here, you have to have something in here in order to actually broadcast. So um, it says scene right here. If you don't have anything, you can just click the plus button and I could say, you know, this fan page is my vegan dreams. And you can add that there. So this is the name of the scene. You've got to add a source. Notice there's nothing in here. So we're going to click add um, and see the video went away. So you want to be able to choose a video capture device and what's going to end up coming up is, let's see, I'm just going to put in camera here and I'm going to click OK. And what's going to come up is your camera, hopefully. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that and click OK. Of course, my camera's, I'm in a bad location because you can see I'm really dark here. Um, and then from there, and my hair is looking crazy. <laughs> and then from there, you should be good to go because everything is checked here. All you've got to do is click start streaming. So when you start streaming, you can um, come over to here and everything's fine here, but you got to click preview here and a box is going to open up here. And it'll take a few seconds or a minute or so to actually show your video. If you set this up right, it, show, it should show up here. If you set this up right, it, show, it should up right. It should, me, should. I'm echoing here. Let me just move this. I'm echoing here. Let me just move Okay, so I just muted myself. Sorry about that. Um, so here it is, preview, it's, we're good to go. So what you're going to want to do now is actually title this, you know, um, whatever your, your title is going to be. So, you know, maybe this is a vegan fan page, maybe we're, we're going to actually talk about protein sources. All right, you can even add a description here if you want to. Um, right there, you can add some t video tags here, but all you have to do from there is click, and I'm not going to do this because this would go live on our daughter's fan page and then we don't want that to happen. <laughs> but all you would have to do is click go live. And that is it. That is how simple it is to actually set this up. Now, once you're live and you actually want to end the broadcast, you can click stop streaming right here. And then it will actually end the streaming. And as we come back over here, you can see that it ended it. Um, so you're not actually live until you click live here. And then when you want to end it, you can go back to that OBS software and um, go ahead and just click to stop streaming and that is pretty much it it's really that simple let me show you um, what it actually looks like I'm gonna actually log out um, I'm having issues with my fan page right now um, a lot of people can't access it so I've got Facebook actually working on that right now so let me show you how that looks so let's go to my fan page and I'm gonna show you because we just recently did this and set this up but I just kind of want to show you what it looks like so here we go and there we are. Let's see right here. So Bill just did a broadcast from that software. And as you can tell, it doesn't look like it's coming from a cell phone. You know, one of the problems that we have with a cell phone is you can put it on a tripod so it stays steady. But when people are commenting and you want to interact with them, because that's really important to do that in a live stream, you have to like push your face closer to the camera. And it just looks funny. I mean, in my opinion, 
um, when that happens. So you want to be, so I like, you know, having this actually done right here from a desktop because now you can just kind of have somebody to moderate the comments or, um, you know, you can look at it on an additional computer, but it looks really good. It's, it's more professional and um, I love it, but this is basically how it looks. And you can even share right here if you want to share your live stream. Maybe you have some uh, Facebook groups and um, things like that that are, you know, you want to share into. So you basically just can come over here and say share in a group, share on your own timeline. Maybe you do want to share on your own personal timeline. Um, you can share it in an event or another page that you manage, or maybe somebody wants to see it. You can also share it in a private message. So that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, if you're looking for that software, just uh, click on the link either below this video or here within the blog post. Get that downloaded. Just follow the instructions. I will also provide a link that they provide also with instructions. It's more of a written type instruction, um, instructions in order for you to set it up if you prefer to actually just read what you need to do to set it up. So that's all I have. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next training one. Bye-bye.